Warzone 2 has been announced and now the only thing left for us to do is to speculate wildly on what we think it's going to be like. We haven't been given much to go on so far. It's being made by Infinity Ward. They've said it's a new Warzone experience. They said there's some sort of ambitious sandbox thing that we haven't seen before. So I've put together an idea of what I think it could be like and what I kind of hope it will be like. I think all of this stuff is doable. I think it's all possible. I'm not sure whether it's the direction they're going to go, but it matches up with everything they've said so far. So let me know in the comments what do you think of my idea do you think it's possible is it the sort of thing you'd like to see or what's your ideas for what you think warzone 2 is going to be like one final disclaimer everything after this point is entirely speculation i've got no extra information to what's made publicly available or anything like that so this is just my ideas warzone 2 will take place still in kostovia which is the fictional country that featured verdansk in modern warfare 2019 that was loosely inspired by ukraine the city of verdansk is based on the real life city of donetsk in ukraine and you can see that with like the stadium and the airport it looks super familiar it might seem tasteless to base a war game on a region that is currently in the news a lot because of the fears of war and the fighting that's been going on over the last few years but they already did that with warzone 1 like donetsk was a city that had experienced conflict the stadium itself had been hit by a mortar attack so it wouldn't surprise me if we carried on in the same region and we actually use some things that are going on in the real world to inspire the story of warzone 2 i think the story is going to carry on with a different city or area of kostovia because verdansk was nuked at the end of the sort of mon warfare 2019 storyline so i think the story will be that after Verdansk was nuked the entire country and the entire region falls into chaos and it turns into this strange kind of war zone where you've got NATO on one side and Russia on the other and both sides are unwilling to commit to a full ground invasion because of the risk of starting World War 3 but both sides are using special forces and mercenaries to try and exert control on a region. People will still live in Kostovia but much of the government will be non-functional and the whole area will be war-torn from like a decade of fighting. And I think this whole region will be a playable space. So it'll be huge. Maybe there'll be like two, three different cities in it. But I think it'll be much bigger than the Warzone map. And I'll explain why as we go on. So there could be two bases on the border. One's run by NATO on the west and one's run by Russia on the east. And the playable game space would be the area in the middle. And think of something like one of Destiny's planets or the Divisions map where you've kind of got different areas within it, but they're all interconnected and they're all playable. The bases from NATO and Russia would be a completely safe area where you can't use your weapons so like the tower in destiny here you could show off your cosmetics you could take on missions buy and sell gear and organize your inventory the inventory would be escape from tarkov style where every individual gun is an item and it can be lost or bought or sold or modified using currency in the game so if you had an mp5 that you really liked and you had loads of attachments on it maybe you even had like a kill counter on it of how many kills you've managed to get with it if you died you would lose that item forever like that item would be gone or potentially another player could pick it up and add it to their inventory every time you go out on a mission you'd choose what to bring with you you'd like set up your loadout but if you don't make it back you lose everything when you do head into Kostovia, you'd usually be fighting against AI soldiers like Destiny, so a sort of PvE experience. You would see other players, and maybe there'd be PvP areas like the Division's Dark Zones, but generally you'd get something like, go take out this squad of mercenaries in the tower block, and there'd be a reward of like $10,000. You'd get airdropped in somewhere nearby, or maybe you'd actually go from the base and be able to take a vehicle. If you went it alone, you'd get all of that $10,000 if you complete the mission, but if you decide to play in a pair, obviously it's easier, but maybe it would split the money between you so you'd only get five thousand each and so on you know so if you did it with four players you'd only get two and a half thousand each but you'd probably be in a situation where you could take on harder missions if there were more of you on the mission you could find new weapons currency and items so you could do looting and you could pick up stuff from enemies that you killed and at any point you could call in an extraction to get a lift back to base maybe that would be an item like getting a flare gun or something like that or you could find a vehicle and just make your own way to the border in the dark zones there might also be smaller mission hubs with higher rewards for players who are willing to brave the dangers to get in there like imagine if there was a hub where it was pvp all around it and you had to go through the pvp area to get to it and then you'd be safe while you're speaking to quest givers and stuff like that and they would give you much better missions but getting in and out of there would be much tougher back at the main bases battle royales and plunder would operate kind of like the mass races in riders republic so in riders republic every half an hour there's a big alert saying there's a mass race starting get to the starting point if you want to take part in it so maybe in warzone 2 every 15 minutes or so there could be an announcement that a plane's taken off from the runway and you can go and board it if you want to get matched into that game so maybe there'll be one plane that say okay this mission is 
is going to be duos battle royale or get on this plane for duos this plane for quads or this plane for battle royale this plane for plunder something like that and the plane could take you to a region where you say okay this has been the site of a nova gas attack and we need you to make sure that these other people don't make it out of the area alive and then you extract at the end and that could kind of be the story for battle royale it'd be kind of cool because it would add some context to what you were doing so you'd actually be going and getting on the plane and you would understand why you were on the plane and also the idea that there's loads of other mercenaries trying to get the same payday trying to get the same objective as you the battle royale area would be instant so you wouldn't be on like the same live map of everyone else it's not like when you were just doing normal missions you'd see the gas rolling in or anything like that this would be a completely separate instance of the map the actual battle royale games would be pretty similar to how they are now with two big differences in my mind first any money and weapons you collect could be brought back out so if you find something awesome in ground loot or you kill another player and they've got this amazing loadout that you definitely don't want to lose there would be the option to pay for an extraction and the extraction would work a bit like plunder but you'd pay for it somewhere and then like everyone would see that someone is extracting so they've probably got something decent and it would be a dangerous thing to do but if you extract it doesn't matter that you didn't win you still got out with all of the stuff that you had secondly loadouts would still be possible but instead of just having the same loadout for every game you would set it up before the games because you'd be taking stuff out of your real inventory and all of these are limited items so say if you've got some amazing ax50 with all of the attachments you can get that in the match through your loadout but that's super dangerous because if you get killed, you might end up losing it completely. This could make the meta quite a bit more interesting because it wouldn't just be about how good a gun is, but also maybe how expensive a gun is, how rare a gun is, and it would encourage people to go and get into fights and fight other players a lot more often because that would be a really good way of getting new items. Plunder could work in a kind of similar way to how it does now, but with the ability to bank money, sending a percentage back to your character's stash. So there'd have to be some kind of multipliers, maybe if like you want to battle royale all of that money would be doubled because obviously winning a battle royale is quite hard whereas in plunder maybe you'd just get a percentage because there's so much more money about just to kind of make sure there isn't just one best way to get currency there could also be raid style content like in destiny where you use those powerful weapons to fight pve content with a big group and you're sort of going through having different kinds of encounters where you've got to do different things at a time this could even be the new easter egg style hunt where first of all you need to find out how to access special bunkers when they go live and then then they would contain very difficult combat encounters that you could maybe do at different difficulties and things like that but you wouldn't have to worry about other players camping the entrance or getting in the way because it would just be a pve thing everything else in warzone could run just as it does now there could still be cosmetic stores where you use real money to get skins and blueprints and things they could still do the battle pass but a battle pass could actually be a bit better in my mind because instead of getting like useless stickers and emblems and xp boosts for a lot of it you can instead get like packs of weapons and armor that have limited uses so they could give you really cool things in a battle pass because you wouldn't have it forever you would just have it until you end up losing it with the new focus on pve as well as pvp you can also have events that are so much more exciting with special missions and encounters popping up at the same time for everybody so that's my idea for what i want warzone 2 to be let me know in the comments what do you think about all of this and what are your ideas for what you want to see in warzone if you like my ideas leave a like if you didn't like them leave a dislike subscribe turn your notifications on and make sure you check out my stream today because season 2 is dropping in warzone and it's bringing loads of new stuff to warzone including these under ground laboratories and things like that and some fighting against ai which is something that i've kind of been talking about here so that's going to be really interesting i'm going to be hunting for easter eggs twitch.tv forward slash geeky pastimes